Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in the new game, The Medium. Uh, you can buy the game or play it on the Game Pass. You can buy it, I think, on Windows Store and also you can buy it on Steam. Uh, the game is not running well right now. If you have an RTX card, for sure go with the DLSS. I will show you how to optimize your FPS, but if you can't run uh, the DLSS mode, it will be rough, I will tell you. So we will start with an optimization of Windows. So first of all, the game mode. Make sure that your game mode is at off. I did a couple of tests with this game. I was losing a FPS like 2 to 3% and also I was getting some random stuttering. So really important to put the game mode at off. Also, the Xbox game bar, put this one at off. I also recommend to just disable all the, the, the overlays that you're currently using, like the one from Discord, AMD, Intel, whatever overlay that you're using. You can keep something like a MS Afterburner just to track and monitor your uh, CPU, GPU and stuff like that, but uh, don't go with like fancy overlay. And uh, the last one is the capture mode. Make sure that your background recording is at off and your recorded audio is at off. Really important also, Make sure that you have the latest driver for your uh, video card. It's a AAA game. Normally, when you do your updates uh, and they have like normally dedicated driver for your video card, you can gain like five to seven percent boost in your FPS. So really important. Nvidia, AMD, also Intel. If you have an integrated video card, go on the Intel website and make sure that you update your driver. One more thing that you can do is the GPU scheduling. So right GPU, you have the graphic setting over here. Click on it. And make sure that your hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is at on. You will need to reboot if it was not. Uh, for entry level and mid level uh, computer, it will give you a nice boost like 3 to 4% in your FPS. If you have an high end computer, you will not see the difference. If you want to know uh, what this is doing, uh, I have a dedicated video when I'm explaining like everything on it. Uh, also, you need the latest version of Windows and you need something like uh, the uh, NVIDIA 1000 series and above to uh, make sure that uh, your video card is compatible with this feature. So now let's go inside of the game. We will optimize it. So now inside of the game, go to settings and display. Uh, first of all, make sure that your display target is your proper uh, screen. I recommend to play native for the resolution. So if you have a 1080p screen, go with 1080p. Uh, if you really need more FPS, you, need, you will need to lower your resolution scale. For full screen, go with on. You will lose FPS and you will have some stuttering if you go at off. Uh, HDR for me, I don't have an HDR screen, so it's at the off. Retracing, honestly, retracing in this game. I'm going to run retracing on my Xbox Series X, but on my PC, I'm going to go with off. It's taking a lot of resources, so really important this one to put this one at off. Quality, go with custom. After that, V-Sync, me, I'm, go, I'm going with off, but honestly, it doesn't change anything. It's a solo game, so if you have some tiering, just put your V-Sync at on. Uh, if you have G-Sync, free sync, use that. Uh, but me, I'm just putting the V-Sync at off, and I'm not getting any tiering, so that, I'm just staying at off. Uh, for a max FPS, I'm, I'm going with unlimited. If you have issue with uh, normally the temperature of your computer, maybe lock it to... Uh, the amount of FPS that you will uh, use. So for an example, uh, if you're running like your game at 60, go with 60. You can also limit it on the uh, NVIDIA software. So it really depends uh, your of your preference. But it's this the game, when I play it, 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 this is the first time that I see my GPU going over 70. So I'm going at 72, 73. So <laughs> watch your temp because you will lose some boost in your FPS and it will cause stuttering, you will lose FPS. So really important to look at your temperature GPU and CPU. So first of all, base quality, I'm just going with I. Doesn't like uh, you just start with this, and we will change everything else after that. For anti-aliasing, if you have an RTX car, go with the LSS. Just use it. If I compare the LSS with TXAA, for example, TXAA with resolution scale at 100%. Uh, with the LSS, I'm getting like 155 FPS. With TXAA, I'm getting like 112, 110, uh, 110. So I'm losing a lot of FPS with the anti-aliasing. So if you have the LSS, I recommend the LSS and uh, I. I try medium and low. Yes, you're getting more FPS, but honestly, it doesn't look good with the DLSS. So just go DLSS I over here. 
really important. If you don't have DLSS, I recommend FXAA or even remove it. Don't use the TXAA, it's taking a lot of resources. You can like use TXAA for if you have like a brand new Radian 6800 or something like that. But uh, if you have like a mid range or low range computer, a GPU, just go FXAA or none. So let's go back to DLSS. Uh, resolution scalability, uh, don't touch it. If you're using the DLSS, go with 70. Uh, if you're using like a normal anti-aliasing, go something like 100. They don't give you like the option. You can't really put it at 90 or 95. The other uh, bracket, it's 75, but uh, 75, it's too low. Your image quality will be too low. After that, if you really want FPS, shadow quality and ambient occlusion, really important. Put this one at low. If I compare high to low, you will get like 8 to 10% over here. And ambient occlusion, when you remove it, you're getting another 6% boost in your FPS. So really important. For the texture quality, it uh, really depends on your VRAM. So for an example, if you have more than 4 gig, go with I. 2 gig or 3 gig, go with medium. And if you have less than 2 gig, go with low. After that, uh, screen space reflection. This one, uh, for me, uh, I don't really need to change anything else because right now I'm getting like the proper amount of FPS. But if you're still struggling with your FPS, this one will give you more FPS. It's like 4 to 5%, so you can put this one at off easily. Uh, for the SSS quality screen space scattering, uh, go with low. You will gain another 2 to 3% boost. Separate translucen translucency, you can stay at on for this one. Light volume propagation, by default it's at off, don't go with on, it's taking a lot of resources, you will lose a lot of FPS with this one, so this one at off. Effect quality and shader quality, you're getting a nice amount if I compare medium to high. So high to medium, I'm getting like 3 to 4% for each one. But with low, honestly, sometimes it's 1%. So that's why I recommend medium for those one. Motion blur, go with off. It's it's You're not getting any uh, more FPS with this one, but it's an effect that you, re you don't want when you play video games. And the last one is the lens flare. Go with medium. I to medium, I'm getting 3% boost. Medium to low, I'm getting 1. So really important. Go with medium. It's, it's a nice compromise. So that's about it, guys. If you have any question, just come in, in the YouTube section. Post me your rig. So CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And really important, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.